I've given y'all a lot of time, like none. Uh, I thought an ambulance was going up the road. My dog was barking, so I had to run out. And notice I'm not wearing my hat. I'm doing this for one friend right now. He said, don't wear the hat. I said, all right, I won't wear the hat. But then it was Big Bush, looked like Wild Woman of uh, Transylvania or something. I've got my green screen behind me and my lighting off, and I don't care. I want you to look at my background. Um, and I listed some of the plants that were poisonous to cats. And I, after you watch the sad thing that happened this morning, and it's not so sad like um, animals died that I know of. It was sad that they lost a tree where I knew they lived. So watch this video, and I'm going to get rid of this green screen. I'm sitting in front of what's safe for cats, but it doesn't grow to be five and a half feet. And I don't think it would be something useful for me to have in the room without, oh boy, talk about a distraction. So take a look at this video and uh, I'm going to lower my green screen and you'll come back to my professional background. Oh no, this, we knew it was dead, but we knew the critters lived in it. This is from six years ago, seven, eight years ago when 12 trees fell down in our yard and it took us six years to carve them up and burn them up. And I wouldn't let this one be taken down because always the raccoons lived in it. And so I can't go down there and look now. It, what good, I, it's very sad. Well, Finally, the backdrop. And I know I need some more lighting. So I brought a lantern in that would be over here. You would need something. And by the way, if you're ever live streaming, those of you who wear glasses, and I do occasionally, like when I can't see something, um, the ring light, I noticed it on Saturday Night Live a lot since uh, right before they quit doing their show live. But if you wear glasses, and you don't pull them down. Uh, I don't know that I have any handy to show you, but it, you need to wear them down here or don't look up at the light because you'll see these blinding rings in your eyes. But today, um, this is my new professional background. And um, I wonder if I could see there's the wall. And I want to show my Buddha cat and dog just because I think they're so neat to on your right and I want to put a plant on my left but I'm not sure what kind of plants since there's so many of them that cats are um, it's, they're poisonous or and deadly to cats when my um, most beautiful black lab they were a pair it was Gilla Gilla it was Gallant and Lilith that would have been a good name if there was a third one and God, just thinking of that wonderful dog. When he died, um, a new neighbor that had never been really around cats did a beautiful, made a beautiful gesture and sent a card. And what the grocery stores usually pack, you know, a nice thing of flowers, a bouquet to give your loved one um, just to let them know you're thinking of them while you're grocery shopping. So, because I was in such grief over the loss of Gallant, I didn't put the plant where I put all flowers when I get them. So don't ever send me flowers. I like them in the ground. S send me a plant. I like things to grow. I don't like them picked. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think it's a waste of life and I've always felt that way. Um, I love carnations, pink carnations, because my mother did. But that's not, I'm not gonna worry about something that isn't something hardy because, and it can't be a cactus. Believe me, I've got a five and a half foot cactus and cat tuss, if you get the joke, because I have a lot of cats and for many, many years. So I don't want a cactus, uh, maybe a succulent, but I've listed all the major ones, but let me finish the story. Because I didn't put that plant up, 
it turned out to be in the Lilium family. Uh, lilies are so extremely dangerous to cats, and I don't like lilies, uh, except from a distance. I like to look at them, but they they smell like death to me. I think every funeral I've ever been to smelled like lilies, and I don't ever want to smell them again, but that's what she sent me. They were mixed in the bouquet, and again, I was so grief-stricken. Um, I didn't do because I thought it would insult her also at the time, but I thought I'd remember to put them in the bathroom too, because I had some cats downstairs, but I didn't. And um, my, one of my, oh, they were all favorites. They were just all different children. I still get teared up and it's been like five years. All one cat did was nibble on the stem, not even the petal, just the stem. And I rushed her to uh, the emergency room and she had been poisoned by just chewing on the stem. And then I was asked, how many other cats do you have near that plant? And I couldn't get home fast enough. And then they, stupidly, but you know, things went when you're stressed out, like losing someone that you love, you do idiotic things. And why would I have tested any of the cats, which was, by the way, something like $800 a cat. Oh yeah, I didn't know that until I got the bill, but I, I bought the other three in. Uh, what were we going to do? It causes kidney failure. Um, and the cats would have to go dialysis. Wonder how much that would have cost. So there's some good vets and they're not so good vets. There are people that look out for you and others that don't. I'm looking out for you by sharing the list of plants that I can't have in the house, uh, flowers, chrysanthemums, and it does, and I like, I have azaleas outside, but cats that were outside have other choices, and I made sure for 21 years they did, and, and most of the time cats aren't going to nibble on it, but if they're indoors, and they, they can't feel the dirt, and boy, anyone that's a cat owner knows if you've got a big plant in the house, what's going to happen at some point? Point. one of your male cats usually um, so I don't have plants in the house either but up here I have an 18 year old cat that does not like the studio like Merlin did I had a cat named Merlin that sat on my lap and photobombed almost every show I did for four years Merlin and he'd just love and lean up against me and at any rate I want a suggestion I know that most of you will see this later. I'd love uh, to plan out stuff, but I, I just don't. Right now, I'm in the middle of taking some training for moving to YouTube, and um, and this is ridiculous to look like this. I mean, it makes me look messy, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Ta -da, there's going to be the big reveal, what Carol looks like if she doesn't wear a hat, but I'll try not to. Um, I know that... Uh, Here's your humor for today, because we all need to laugh at something. My mouse has been making some strange noises, noises, noises lately. Do you see mouse? Oh, go on, go on, don't be shy. All it does is laugh at me. See, it's an apple mouse. No, you didn't see, you didn't really see this mouse. You didn't see the real one. This is the real one I use. Okay, just, just a little humor today, but but honestly, I, I really would appreciate suggestions for, because I want some green in this picture, and of course, there can be green for a change, one of my favorite col colors, because I, it this is not a green screen. This is a room divider, and I want a plant that's going to be tall over here, just to add green, because I like green, and, and white, I can't, white does not do well when, you know, your own screen should, I haven't found it to do well. I should just buckle up and, by the way, I've left the air conditioner on. It's a wall unit um, because I'm tired of sweating when I do these live shows. But uh, please uh, appreciate your tuning in whenever you tune in because I need to start shopping for plants. I, I really am not, um, my mother had a green thumb my grandmother had a green thumb, and my great-grandmother, she just kind of looked at something, and it grew. 
I, I do very well with yucca plants. But then you throw one little yucca in the, in the ground on gravel and it will grow tremendously all by its little self. You can't kill a yucca. And I, I have some in the yard just because uh, I learned that early on in life. So that's your story for today that I don't want to kill any animal with plants. I'm telling you not to. Do not bring those flowers into the house of someone who owns a cat unless they put the flowers somewhere. I put them in the bathroom because I had a cat in my bedroom. I had a cat in this studio. I had a cat in another room. I had four in this great room and I called them my shoulder cats, my lap cat. And, and anyway, I, I've had a wonderful life, um, not financially lately, but these different souls to have loved them so much. And then for, it was Gigi. And Gigi is who I first made my first business card out of. Itty bitty little kitty. And she was so in your face. She was just, she was the hugger. She had to hug. And maybe I'll post a picture of her later. But I would love some plant suggestions. And so now here's the big reveal before I get off and do my outro. This is what, I guess, you call them a scrunchie. I'm not very good with long hair. I've always had short. And so, ta-da! I mean, give me a broom. I'm not kidding. I use this to try and keep this contained. And I, frankly, I think I think a hat is a lot better. But my hair was always short. I always, uh, like for most of my adult life, it was uh, a razor cut. And But, you know, I don't think it's not been professionally cut since October 2019. And unprofessionally, I cut it. So I use this little scrunchie, and I don't care right now. I'm getting off. And so that's your other messy entertainment for today. Carol reveals why she's been wearing a hat. And I'll try and find a way to to look normal <laughs> and professional. Uh, but this was not, uh, this is just me asking for some suggestions from people that I know who follow me or someone who will share this with someone who knows a lot about plants. To give me a suggestion. I want some green in my, in my background. So thank you for watching whenever you are. Stay safe. Vote, 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 vote. Okay, I'm leaving.